Hello, welcome to another movie review of mine. Afterwards, please take the chance to visit my website, www.thescenebuer.com, where I have thousands of movie reviews, 60 plus lists of best films per genre, yearly ranked lists with top 5 per category going back to 1914, and dozens of miscellaneous lists including TV shows, actor profiles, and top 10 films per actor. The link can be found below. Today we are reviewing the first deadly since 1980. Gave this movie a rating of 7 and was viewed in 2024. After appearing in crap films for more than a decade, Frank Sinatra is back by starring in the first Deadly Sin. If not for the additional elements, it would have been another ordinary murder mystery movie. On top of the imminent passing of Edward X. Delaney's wife, the high amount of antipathy and the serial killer's big speech, the film title has religious undertones that aren't apparent on screen. Instead, it's magnified through people in terms of God's power. The doctor has it, but the detective is frustrated with him for not getting the job done and decides to keep himself busy by concentrating on the final case of his career. While at work, he's limited by the superior who doesn't want to hear anything about his lead of a serial killer who has the power to take people's lives. Then there's the wheelchair-bound man at the apartment whose passion in mountain climbing was taken away in an accident. At the end, the serial killer, whose life was messed up in a big way when he was a child, is caught but gives a final speech where he's killed by Delaney, who stopped caring anymore, especially after seeing what's happening to his wife and knowing that he couldn't pursue him the proper way anymore in spite of his solid detective work. In top form, Frank Sinatra is almost as he was in The Manchurian Candidate and is all class by the way he talks. But Faye Dunaway has the thankless task of being bedridden the entire time. Four supporting players are effective, Martin Gable, Brenda Vaccaro, James Whitmore, and Joe Spinell. It's interesting to see the two plain eager characters versus the antipathetic characters that Delaney have been encountering constantly. By the way, why is there a big mention of Theoni V. Aldridge during the opening credits for designing Faye Dunaway's costumes when she's never seen wearing one. On the other hand, if you notice the curious white sticker on Brenda Vaccaro's door to her apartment, it's an operation identification sign, which means the resident registered the serial numbers of her electronic device with the New York Police Department for theft deterrence. All in all, thanks to Frank Sinatra and the deep layers of symbolism, the first deadly sin rises above the usual. Thank you so much for joining me for this review. Don't forget to visit my website at www.thesaveviewer.com.